Yeah, hi, uh, welcome to your channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to calculate the power of a centrifugal pump. That is power required to pump a fluid at a certain flow rate uh, to a certain height. So for better understanding, we have divided this video into three sections. In first section, we will try to cover uh, some basic information which is very important to understand the uh, what kind of powers that uh, involved in this centrifugal pump so for this uh, we discuss uh, so, uh, some basic about uh, how centrifugal pump work we will cover uh, some uh, very short information about centrifugal uh, pump working principle uh, in second section uh, uh, we cover uh, uh, the data required to calculate uh, pump power and some also we cover we will cover some uh, uh, formula in third section we will go through an example so let's start the video uh, but before to start the video i have one small request if you are new to my channel please subscribe and also like the video okay uh, let's start the video if you don't have idea about how a centrifugal pump work then it is very difficult to understand hydraulic power and bkw power so let's discuss the working first what happened uh, so let's discuss the working first uh, what happens uh, when we start the motor or when we switch on the motor button to start the pump the first power is used by the motor first of all power, what motor do motor use the power and motor rotate the shaft shaft of motor motor of shaft uh, rotate the motor of uh, sorry motor of shaft rotate the shaft of pump and shaft of pump rotate the impeller in this way okay rotating impeller create a centrifugal force and it sucks the liquid from the suction side and discharge to uh, at a certain height or as per the process so this is a simple uh, working of a centrifugal pump now uh, the point is what is hydraulic power in this case and what is bkw power okay uh, hydraulic power is nothing but power consumed by the motor Okay. hydraulic power is nothing but the power consumed by the motor while bkw power or uh, brake horsepower or we can call it as pump shaft power it is nothing but actual power consumed by the pump okay uh, okay in the short hydraulic power is power consumed by the motor for this operation and bkw power is the actual power consumed by the pump Hydraulic power is always better than the BKW. This is fixed. Yeah, that's it. And uh, so uh, that's it. Uh, let's talk about the necessary formulas that is uh, required to calculate uh, hydraulic power as well as BKW. Brake horse power. So, okay. So, to calculate hydraulic power, we need to use the formula. You can see, uh, you can uh, see on, uh, on the screen. Okay, that is nothing but uh, uh, required power hydraulic power is equal to flow rate in meter cube per second head in meter uh, density uh, in kg per meter cube uh, and into uh, uh, acceleration due to gravity g uh, in um, uh, meter per second square okay this is for hydraulic power and if you want if uh, we want to calculate the bkw that is brake horsepower we need to simply divide uh, this equation by its pump efficiency of the pump if efficiency of the pump is 100 percent in that case uh, in that case hydraulic power uh, always equal to the brake horsepower but that is uh, not possible okay yeah so uh, let's discuss about some data which is very important to calculate the um, power required uh, for a centrifugal pump so we need data like first of all we need flow rate uh, uh, in meter cube per second again then we need uh, uh, differential head in meter we need uh, density in kg per meter uh, kg per meter cube we need a, a g value that is uh, already a lot uh, we know that that is 9.81 uh, gram per um, meter square sorry uh, um, uh, meter per second square and we need uh, pump efficiency 
so okay uh, so let's start with uh, an uh, example okay so uh, uh, let's assume q is equal to 10 meter cube per hour and uh, differential head is 30 meter density of uh, we, we cover the density of water with example of uh, for water uh, calculation so uh, we know that density of water is uh, 1000 kg per meter cube and uh, we assume pump efficiency is 0.7 actually if you don't we, most of the case we don't have uh, idea about pump efficiency so we need to ask a pump vendor wh what is the efficiency of pump so let's start the calculation first uh, we start with uh, conversion like uh, conversion of flow from meter cube per hour to uh, meter cube per second so to convert uh, flow rate from meter cube per hour to meter cube per second we just need to uh, divide this flow rate by uh, 3600 so 10 uh, divided by 3600 it's uh, 0 0.0277 meter cube per second so uh, by putting the all values uh, okay so final answer is 1.1 1 .1, uh, sorry 1167 watt which is nothing but 1.167 kilowatt so we can um, uh, assume it as a approximately 1.17 kilowatt so that is this is the very simple example okay if you have, if you have any doubt you can comment and uh, yeah thanks uh, that's it thanks for the uh, giving your valuable time yeah see you again please subscribe uh, to my channel also like the video thank you